Resonance fluorescence is a special case of fluorescence. Here, an atom is brought into an excited state by electromagnetic radiation of a certain wavelength or energy. After a short time, it returns to its ground state by emitting light of exactly this energy or wavelength. This is possible because excited atoms fall back into their ground state without losing energy through oscillation. In this experiment, resonance fluorescence will be explained using sodium as an example. A Bunsen burner is illuminated by the white light of a halogen lamp and the yellow light of a sodium vapor lamp. The light falls on a white wall and can be observed there. The tip of a non-flammable ceramic rod can be immersed in common salt, i.e. sodium chloride, and then held in the flame. If the Bunsen burner is ignited first, a colorless and transparent flame is produced. In the shadow of both lamps, the flame is almost invisible because the light of both lamps penetrates the flame unhindered. With the help of a long ceramic rod, some common salt is now added to the flame. Due to the sodium contained in the salt, the flame turns yellow. In the shadow of the white lamp, no big change is visible, only a slight shadow appears. In contrast, the shadow of the sodium vapor lamp shows a dark shadow. The reason for the shadow formation is the absorption of photons by the sodium atoms in the flame. Sodium atoms in the flame are excited by the heat energy and fall back to the ground state by emission of the characteristic yellow light. When a photon emitted by the sodium vapor lamp strikes a sodium atom in the flame which is in the ground state, the atom absorbs the photon and returns to its excited state, since the energy required for excitation corresponds exactly to the energy of the emitted photons. This is called resonance fluorescence. Consequently, the sodium atoms and the flame intercept the photons directed towards the screen and emit them in any direction in space during a later emission. As a result, the flame is visible as a shadow on the screen. The more photons of the correct wavelength hit the flame, the more pronounced the effect is and therefore the shadow of the light from the sodium vapor lamp is significantly stronger than that of the white light. In previous experiments, it has already been shown that magnetic fields, whether caused by internal dynamics or external influences, lead to a splitting of the energy levels and thus to the spectral lines. In the following experiment, we will investigate whether an externally applied magnetic field has an effect on the resonance fluorescence of sodium. For this experiment, almost the same setup as in the preliminary experiment is used. However, a longer sodium chloride coated ceramic rod is now held in the flame of the Bunsen burner and a magnetic field is applied into this flame with the aid of two pole shoes. Without a magnetic field, the yellow glowing sodium flame in the light of the sodium vapor lamp creates a black shadow on the illuminated screen. When the current through the solenoid magnet is switched on, it can be observed that the shadow of the flame disappears at the points where the flame is penetrated by the magnetic field. As a result, the light from the sodium vapor lamp is no longer absorbed in these areas and can be again passed through the flame unhindered. As already explained in the experiment fine structure, using the sodium double line, the 3p state of the sodium atom is split into the 2p three half and 2p one half states. Since the splitting is caused by the spin orbit coupling, i.e. an atom internal interaction, it is found in the sodium atoms of the steam lamp as well as in the sodium atoms in the flame and therefore does not influence the resonance fluorescence of the sodium atoms in this experiment. However, the externally applied magnetic field does only influence the sodium atoms in the flame which are located in the magnetic field. Similar to spin orbit coupling, there is an interaction of the magnetic moment of the electrons resulting from the spin with the magnetic field. In contrast to spin orbit coupling, however, this magnetic field is not generated by the orbital motion of the electrons themselves, but by the external magnetic field we apply. This is much stronger so that the energy splitting is also much stronger than in the two 3p states of the sodium atom, the 2p 3 half and the 2p 1 half state. As a consequence, the sodium atoms which are in the magnetic field are excited by different energies than before and the photons emitted by the sodium vapor lamp no longer lead to resonance fluorescence. At the location of the magnetic field, the photons emitted by the vapor lamp again hit the screen undisturbed. The flame becomes almost transparent to the yellow light of the sodium vapor lamp. If sodium chloride is held in a flame of a Bunsen burner and gets illuminated with a sodium vapor lamp, 
The yellow light of the lamp is absorbed by the flame, creating a black shadow on the lighting screen. If the sodium atoms in the flame are exposed to a strong magnetic field, the energy levels split so much that the yellow light of the sodium vapor lamp is no longer absorbed. The flame becomes transparent to this light. Thank you.